Well, great morning, everyone. <clears throat> I just had a call from um, my surgeon. Uh, he had gotten my blood panel back that they drew yesterday, and I can start reducing my calcium so I can go down to three times a day and in four days reduce it to two times a day, the next four days to two times a day, uh, one time a day, and then I can be off of it because my panel came back very good. Um, so, uh, yeah, really happy with that. And um, I'm going then Thursday, I just got an appointment with my primary care to go over all the stuff that's going on with all of this. Um, so yeah, um, <clears throat> oh my goodness, this morning ago, <laughs> Mr. Max is out there sparkling at the other dogs out there. <laughs> anyway. <clears throat> Things are going really well. Um, like I said, uh, when I started, I've only been on the carnivore now for a very short time, but it um, is immediately dropped my blood sugar, I mean my blood pressure by a lot. All the massive brain fog that I was having is getting much better thank goodness, because that was just really scary. Um, <clears throat> but that's turned around. Now, I was having so many compliments. I was having that veg salad every day with really good olive oil on it, etc. And everybody's going, oh, that's so healthy, so healthy. But I was getting more and more brain fog and dizziness and... Um, so many things going on that were not good. And my blood pressure would, every time I would go to the VA, it would be 160, okay? So they were really shocked when I went in yesterday and it was 133. <laughs> so yeah, and like I said, when I was in the hospital, I had to spend overnight I couldn't believe the hospital. I could not get fats. I couldn't get butter. I couldn't get, you know, they made me take carbs, a lot of carbs. And I mean, overnight, my blood sugar skyrocketed. And so they give me an insulin shots. I'm going, what the hey? I came in and my blood sugar was good. Okay, my fasting was 90, which for me was really good. And uh, they were really surprised at my blood work and stuff. And that was mainly just because I had dropped all the sugar and things. Now, I still was not um, heavy yet into the carnivore, but things were already getting much better. Um, <clears throat> But I tell you, overnight at the hospital, what they were pushing was absolutely the worst thing ever. <laughs> High carb, low fat, low protein. I'm like, oh my goodness. <clears throat> Couldn't believe it. Come on, Mr. Max. Mr. Max is going for his grooming in just a few minutes. Yes, he's going to come back looking all spiffy. Look at him now. <laughs> he's such a ragamuffin today. Are you a ragamuffin this morning? Yes, you are. He says, I'm going to go see, I'm going to go see the groomer. She gives me kisses. Yeah, she gives me kisses. <laughs> the groomer just loves him. Yeah, you're gonna go in there. You're gonna go, gonna go cheat on me today and give her kisses. Yeah, I know. I see you do it. <laughs> Every time I take him there, they say, "Oh, we'd take him in a heartbeat." 
Yeah, she says, but no, I want to go home with the mama. Yeah, I want to go home with the mama. So anyway, yeah, in just, uh, yeah, half an hour, I got to go take him down there. <clears throat> so anyway, it was uh, really nice that... Um, that I had gotten that call from my doctor today and everything looks really, really good. So happy with that. So all I can say, you know, I go by what's happening with me health-wise. Um, and while I really enjoyed that veg salad that I was having daily, it did not do good things to my body. <laughs> we'll say it that way. It really was not doing good things for my health. <clears throat> and I know I told my daughter, she wanted to know how I was doing, so I called her and uh, told her what was happening and that I'm doing the carnivore. And she was shocked. She was just like, <laughs> You're what? <laughs> and she was talking, she's going to make a veg vegetable garden and stuff. Now she's not a vegetarian. They, they eat <clears throat> meat as well, but they, you know, they, um, they eat everything, you know. <laughs> They go out to some of these three-star, five-star restaurants and, you know, some of those things as well. <laughs> but uh, anyway, she was really shocked when I told her I was doing carnivore and was, you know, the typical worry, oh my God, high fat, high salt meats, you're going to die, you're going to have a heart attack. And I told her my blood pressure actually went down and she was absolutely shocked when I told her the health benefits I'm getting in such a short time. So uh, anyway, um, all good, all good. Um, so all I can do is um, go by how I'm feeling, what's happening, and uh, and take it from there step by step. Now I noticed when I was having the vegetarian stuff, I loved the tomatoes. They um, they had these dried tomatoes and I would eat them. I would get more and more inflammation, okay? More and more arthritic things were happening. Um, and like I said, my uh, at one point my iron level was all the way down to 2.4, which is really low. And I had to go in for iron, um, iron infusions. So um, I'm hoping that this carnivore will rectify that. Now, so far, um, my labs have been good. Uh, and so we'll see what happens, and uh, I'll let you know how it's going. Um, now, I'm not telling everybody that they have to be carnivore, but it might be something to check more into if you are have been having a lot of very serious illnesses. And just, you know, look into it. I mean, what does it hurt to to check it out? and find out um, people that have had these really serious uh, systemic problems, uh, how this turned things around for them. And I can attest it's definitely turning things around here as well. And so as long as I am on the upward swing and uh, things are getting better, I'm going to continue on it and uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, so far, I haven't seen any negatives with it whatsoever. Now, I am losing, thank God, my cravings for sugar, etc. 
Um, that's one thing I had a really difficult time with, was the cravings for sugar and also um, bread, bread, bread products and sugars I was really having a lot of cravings for. Now those are, are going away. Um, it does take a little while to get over that hump, but I'm also, uh, now I use, I do have my coffee still. Okay, <clears throat> I am an avid coffee drinker, so I have not given up my coffee. And, but I am reducing the amount of sweet in it. Now, instead of any sugar or anything, I, I'm using the monk fruit and uh, very small amount. And I'm still using the tor tor is it called Torini or Torino um, sugar-free uh, flavorings. And I use a quarter of a teaspoon in it. That's it, a quarter of a teaspoon. And they say, you use two tablespoons. <laughs> so I'm down to a quarter of a teaspoon. <laughs> so these things are being backed off. So I'm hoping that soon I can um, do away with all of the sweeteners. Um, but I've reduced it by a significant amount already. Um, <clears throat> And like I said, the one thing I'm having that's not carnivore, but is um, easing me into the carnivore, is I take the Wassa sourdough rye um, cracker, and I have a lot of butter on that. And um, it does keep you feeling fuller, and it does help to regulate my blood sugar. It's got five net carbs in it. It's got no wheat in it um, because the wheat is, I can't do wheat. Um, and so I haven't noticed any negative things from that. But again, you know, I'm in the process of um, working up to full carnivore. And that is the one thing I am taking that is not carnivore is that wasa sourdough rye because I can do a lot of butter. I can get down my stick of butter a day doing that, putting it in my coffee. Um, and uh, yeah, so that seems to be working quite well for me. Um, <clears throat> but you know, we do it step by step. And thank you for those that are on my channel that are carnivores and that are, you know, um, that are being, um, <clears throat> you know, helpful with it. You know, I do appreciate it. So anyway, on that note, I'm getting ready to take Mr. Max down for his grooming so he can come back all spiffy and handsome again today. <laughs> He's just looking like such a ragamuffin at the moment. <laughs> but that is about to be rectified. So anyway, today I was very happy to hear from my doctor. Uh, he is, you know, I, I, I can't say too many good things about him. He's been really attentive. He's very... Um, you know, he comes in, he shakes your hands, and, and just is, whatever question you have, he'll answer it. And, uh, you know, to have your doctor call you back directly, not too many do that. So very, very nice guy, and he did a really good job. You know, I am still healing. It looks a little nasty this morning, <laughs> but, you know, but <clears throat> it is, you know, healing up. And so I can't, uh, I have nothing bad to say. Everybody at the hospital was absolutely lovely, uh, except for the dietary department. <laughs> I'm sorry, no kudos for the dietary department. It was so bad. 
I couldn't believe they send you up dry toast. Look, at I just had a thyroidectomy. You know, I need something that I can eat, you know, and, and not to even be able to get butter. But pushing the really high carb items, I was just like, it was not good. But other than that, it was, uh, I can't complain. All the nurses were fabulous. Um, very caring, very, you know, so um, that whole experience was fine. And I just wish they wouldn't have left all the IVs in, okay? And when they put the IVs in, they used a really long <laughs> IV that was it just, you know, so every time you go to move your hand, it was really painful. But um, it is what it is. I think out of all the stuff that you go through when you have the operation, the worst for me is the IV. I don't care. Cut me open, do whatever you're going to do, but leave the freaking IVs alone. <laughs> I hate the IVs. <laughs> I can deal with anything else, but not the IV. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. Anyway, it's all good. Now, I had one person here that that stormed off in a huff. She's loved all my readings except for the one that came up yesterday about Charles and Camilla, and so she stormed off in a huff. Well, okay, get mad. You know, I'm I'm not here to please everybody. I just read what comes out in the cards. So if you want to get angry and storm off because of one reading, be my guest. Nobody's chaining anyone here. That's <laughs> all I can say. <laughs> oh, my Lord. I don't know why people will get their nose out of joint because of one reading. But anyway, <clears throat> it is what I it is, and I wish her well whatever, wherever she goes and whatever she does in life. Good luck with that. <laughs> Like I tell people, be happy or not, up to you. <laughs> anyway, on that note, I'm closing this out and uh, getting ready to take Mr. Max down to get his grooming done today. And, uh, you know, step by step. But so far, um, <clears throat> things are going well. And I'm really happy to be able to start reducing my calcium thing because I'm not somebody that really likes to take pills. <laughs> I just don't, <laughs> don't like it at all. Um, so I'm really happy to be able to be uh, backing these things off. And I'll be so glad when I don't have to take them anymore. Anyway, on that note, I'll leave this here, and I'll see you when I get back. If there's something you want to see read on, please put it in the comment sections. I do so appreciate it. It helps me to figure out uh, what, what to read on next. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you online.